on the 22nd of April 2009, six people arranged to meet up for a drink in a pub in central London. Nothing unusual, you would think, apart from the fact they had never met in real life and have only ever had contact via online social networking and short message service, Twitter. A blind date for the digitally enhanced, you may ask. As the evening unfolds, they still won't speak and will in fact only communicate via Twitter. One table, six participants, six mobile phones, one goal. Extreme social networking or a microcosmic experiment in the development of human nature. You decide. The evening and company quickly settle, but due to the lack of eye contact and negligible body language, a greater element of risk exists, something found greatly on most social networking sites. And then gameplay comes into force, like the Xbox Wii effect, battling your opponent right next to you. But does online life have a harmful effect on emotions, as everything becomes virtual? And is it a threat to the development of the average human attention span? Could the result of instant information gratification be dumbing down the senses or adding value to an already overloaded information highway? Very strange. Uh, that was a really weird experience, but it was kind of weird, except it was kind of it was kind of easy. And I found the whole twit stunt experimentation very interesting, very hallucinatory. It was very, very, very strange. Uh, it's still strange. It's going on. Making jokes, all trying to impress the gags. You hear someone laugh, and then you kind of think, "Is that one of mine?" And I'm the only one that sort of giggled, I think, sort of out loud. But I've, I've, every so often I've noticed people kind of like slightly sort of chuckling. But Conversations you probably wouldn't normally have with a stranger, you'd have on, on the phone for some weird reason. It's like a lot of banter going on you might not have with someone you just met in real life. Um, the fact that we're all in the same space, it's very odd because you have to sort of keep finding things to talk about because you don't sort of know the people around you. 